y'all already know it's a hot girl summer and you know she got it lit. Hey everybody, it's your girl Linnea Lewis here and I am back with an exclusive makeup drop, okay? I have the Megan Thee Stallion Hot Girl Makeup Bag and I am so excited to show you guys. So if you are a real Meg Thee Stallion fan, Tina Snow, the Hot Girl CEO, you feel me? If you are a real fan, do you know that she's been an ambassador with Revlon for about a year or two now and she has been not shy to share her makeup tips on her social media platforms and just kind of show what type of makeup style she likes. Sometimes she shares if she's done her own makeup for a shoot or different things like that. So, you know, she can kind of relate to us that are in, you know, the beauty influencer game when we're trying to find new stuff and just find, you know, stuff new and that works for us. But this exclusive drop, I think it was only about 430 or 50 of these bags available upon release and the lowest that you can get them was $40 so I was at my phone waiting like all right let's let's go ahead and get this bag literally okay literally okay so let me go ahead and show you guys what is in here so first things first of course you have the bag itself and it comes in coral and there's one more i'll put it on here right right now yeah so these are the two that it comes in love the bag love the gold you know my favorite color gold of course all right first thing we have in our bag is the gloss okay the gloss this is what it looks like and it's called super lustrous and it has Meg the Stallion's signature on here. And let me see. This is called Blissed Out 246. So they say this is one of Meg's favorite. We also have the lashes. Okay, one pair of lashes comes in here. And it just says Revlon X Meg the Stallion. Show you guys what it looks like. Here are these. Really cute really cute nice and just out there okay definitely out of my comfort zone this is a little a little too wispy but we gonna get into it today okay we we're gonna try these out and lastly we have this eye and face and eye makeup palette and of course you know my girl loves anime and she said that she has to go ahead and put this on there and she kind of explains um the background behind this and the other items in one of her instagram videos so if you are curious about that, and this is what the palette looks like, and it's nice and shimmery colors. And because it's called a face and eye palette, because you have two highlighters in here. So you have this highlighter and you have this highlighter, and the rest of these are the eyeshadow shades. Um, all of these are shimmery, except for this top one. So that would be good for a transition color. But look how nice that is. I think I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So I'm gonna be using, oh, I should probably use my other arm. <laughs> I'd be forgetting I have a tattoo right there. So I'm gonna use this arm. <laughs> so we'll do the highlighters first. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this one. And this is what this looks like. And that's nice beautiful and let me get it okay i got my towel now let's take this highlighter shade and that's what this payoff is looking like nice and shimmery okay it almost matches back there but this is the next shade and these actually have names so this last one is called get lit and the top one is called Dusk Till Dawn. So I'll just put the names of them on the lower third so you guys know which one is which instead of me trying to figure out by looking in the back of this. Okay, we're gonna start with the browns. So let's go ahead and take this one right here. 
Do that. Oops. I kind of got this right here. Okay. Next one. This nice gold color. Ooh. I already know which one I'm getting. Look at that. Okay. Next, we're going to go into this one. Ooh. Mmm. That's like a nice brown, purplish color. I like that. Again, so the rest of these colors are going to be shimmery. We just had that one, one matte color. All right, let's take that one. Oh, you see my little fingers in there. That's this one. This is like a, almost like a copper color. Okay, now we get to go down to our pinks and purples. Now let's go in with this one. Oh, I still have this on my hand. <laughs> That's how you know, this is real life, I'm not editing. That's that pink. Pink right there. Okay, let's go ahead and take this purple. And that's what it looks like. And let's take it down here. Oh, that's pretty. Nice and pretty. Okay, let's go to this one. That's what this is looking like. It's giving me galaxy vibes. Ooh, look at that. All right, and then we have one more color. And getting this off my fingers. And now we have this dark purple right here. And look at that. And booyah. So this is the shade swatch for all of these colors. It's definitely pigmented to me. I mean, I feel like, you know, this one, I feel like these would pretty much show up nice on um, more melanated skin. I mean, I probably this one won't show up too much, but the rest of these look like um, in this one, these two probably not. But the rest of these look like they can they can work work something out uh, okay. for our first step. We are going to use our primer. I'm going to be using my favorite, the Laura Mercier blurring primer and honestly i haven't been really feeling buying any other primers um i'm not sure why <laughs> but if there's a primer that you want me to check out please let me know but for now i'm going to be sticking to my laura mercier primer i mean it just smooths the skin out and it just looks so good it feels really good so let me move these braids out the way. Yes, I just got my hair done. I got eyeshadow all over myself. Okay, but yeah, I just got my braids done from the last video, as you can see. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna be taking my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 16 and just putting a little bit on my eyelid and acting as a base. And this is going to help make our eyeshadows pop, even though they're already popping. And let's see, don't judge my sponge, okay? I've been doing makeup. So I'm just gonna blend this out. I honestly forgot that I had a Juvia's Place concealer. I really like their concealers. They're nice and creamy. And I'm just putting this all over. Sometimes I'll put powder on my eye, but um, today I'm not gonna do that. So 
but this is what it's looking like. Now I'm just gonna go straight into, actually, actually, I'm going to put my, I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on my eyes just so when I put my lashes on, they're a little curly. I have the Huda Beauty um, double mascara and it's called Legit Lashes. So I'm just gonna curl them just a little bit because it just makes them a little bit easier when I put my lashes on than when they're straight. Okay, nice and simple. Okay, now we can get into, we can get into the eyeshadow. Mm. Mm, I'm so excited for this y'all. Like, I told my husband, I said, babe, <laughs> He came through, okay? All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this shade right here, which is Sizzle. So we're gonna start with, not Sizzle, um, Sunset Season. So we're really gonna start this and put this over the lid. Okay. So some will call this the transition shade. And the only reason I'm going in with this first is just so you know, you could just have a nice little starting point. A nice little starting point. It's kind of hard trying to show y'all what this looks like. And I'm just taking that all over the lid. And I'm not very particular when it comes to eyeshadows. And that's only because um, sometimes when we're in a rush, we just wanna go ahead and throw something on, you know? And doing all of those steps to your eyes, it's just a lot. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Okay, that is sunset season. Now I'm gonna take another brush. And I think we're going to do, hmm. We might go ahead and do this nice purple right here. No, we're gonna do this purple. We're gonna do this purple. And that is in the shade On Fire. So we're gonna take On Fire and we're gonna use that as the um, outer part. And I'm just gonna take that and put it right here in the outer corner and do like kind of like an ombre eye, but I'm going to use three colors instead of two on the lid. And I'm just kind of packing that on. As you can see, this is really good payoff for the eyeshadow. That looks really good. If y'all hear a dog barking, y'all, it's the neighbors. That dog always bark when I'm doing my videos. I don't understand. If you want to be in it, just tell me, you know? All right, so we're going to take this part, the other side, the left eye, and we're just going to go ahead. And I do have an angled brush. So this is from Eco Tools. I actually really like this brush. So if you're like me and you don't want to use tape or anything like that, this brush is really good. Okay. Now we're gonna pack that on. Okay. So it's looking like, excuse my pimples y'all, I'm over it. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take another brush. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use, we're just gonna do, do something real cute, y'all. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this Galaxy one. I don't know why I wanna call it Galaxy, but it looks so cute, so cute. And this is called Stunna, okay? Stun on them then, sis. Stun on them then, sis. Okay. <laughs> Told 
you. <sighs> Looks like the galaxy. Okay. Let me go ahead and do this again. Y'all should already know what the last shade is gonna be. Like, y'all should already know. Oh, look how pretty that is. Mm. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> okay. Last color we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do the gold. I mean, y'all know gold is my favorite color. Pink is my favorite color. I could do the pink, but I kind of want to do a little more. A little more shimmer, shimmer, you know? Look at this. This is giving me the vibes of the Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette. Um, the gold one that's in the middle, I do not know the name of it but it's bringing me all those vibes, okay? One of them. That's pretty. That's pretty. Okay, now let's go ahead and blend this one out. So I'm gonna take my Real Technique brush and just kind of blend this out on the top. And I think what I might do is add a, a little bit of that pink color, um, which is actually the shade Real Hot. And just kind of put that under the brow so it can kind of pop a little bit. Look how pretty that is, okay. Knowing me, I'm about to add a little bit more gold. And there is some fallout, which is why I like to do my um, eyeshadow first. So I can just wipe it away and not have to worry about it mixing in with my, um, mixing in with my foundation. So I'm just gonna sweep all that away. Make sure to get in that inner corner. Mm, that looks so pretty. It's giving me like Aladdin thing. I don't know why. Maybe it's the purple. But that's exactly what it's giving me right now. All right, let's go ahead and blend this out at the top. Okay, and this is what it's looking like to show you guys from my left to right. Okay, now let's go ahead and take some of that pink color, which is real hot, this one right here, and let's just put that on the top of the brow. Mm, look how pretty that is. Uh, they're gonna say, dang girl, you used the whole palette. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> I sure did. Okay. And let's go ahead and put this. Ugh. Look how pretty that is. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so excited. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the lashes. I just wiped underneath my eye. I took one of the lashes out and just manipulated it a little bit so it can kind of sit better. And I'm just gonna measure this out on my eye. So I'm gonna look and see where I need to cut. And I was always told to cut from the inner corner so you can keep that flare um, going at the end. So let's go ahead and cut these. I tend to cut too much sometimes because I get scissor happy. So I'm just taking the front of this and I'm just gonna cut like right here because my eye is not that big. And for the 
putting on for the glue. I have been in love with the Kiss um lash and glue liner and this is what it looks like i used the black one and it just hasn't steered me wrong i mean i've used the ilor and me and ilor don't really get along it doesn't stick <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and try this one and this is a fresh pin so you guys can you know see what it looks like but i'm gonna start here and i might do i might do a little wing I don't do wings at all because I can't do straight lines, y'all. So, just know I'm excited. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. And this, it dries down, like it doesn't dry down super fast, but it does a really good job at drying. So, if you mess up a little bit or you want to put more product on your eye, you can definitely do that. So this is what it's looking like right now. I'm going to go ahead and take my tweezers and I'm going to grab it from the middle. Don't grab it from the top, grab it from the middle. And I'm just going to sit this right on my eye and it's already tacky. So if you mess up, you know, you can just move it move it around a little bit but i really appreciate the band on this because sometimes it could be really hard working with um smaller bands all right this is what the lash is looking like and I'm just going to kind of push it into my eye. Um, it is already dry. So, you know, you really don't have to worry about a dry time or, you know, waiting or anything like that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Being real extra okay real extra okay let's go ahead and put this second lash on um let me go ahead and take it out of the box and these are actually the perfect flare i, I thought they were going to be real real dramatic for me because i just don't wear these type of lashes but I like them. They have a nice fluffiness to them. So let's see. All right. Just cut them off and also just manipulated them so they can sit a little better on my lash line. Okay, now let's go ahead and use our glue. I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can kind of see. And if you don't have a steady hand like me, it is okay. Like I literally can't even draw a straight part in my head. So the fact that I'm able to do this with this lash glue liner is amazing and if you mess up and you make it too thick or whatever the case may be like people really won't be able to tell um which is the good thing about it all right so that's what that looks like let's go ahead and pop on our eyelash
And again, people have asked me how to put lashes on and the best thing for you to do is to go ahead and get one of your compact mirrors like this and just look down so you can see in the mirror where that lash is going, okay? And this is what it looks like. I keep blinking because I have these lashes on. <laughs> But yeah, they feel very light. Um, yeah, they feel very light. I'm pretty sure I cut too much off of one of them, but you know, it's okay, it's cool. Now, let's go ahead and get into this face, all right? So all I'm gonna do is just kind of show you how I do my, um, my blush now and i do that before foundation i'm not going to put i'm just going to kind of fast forward so you guys don't have to see everything because i know we're just highlighting her products but i do take this rare beauty in lucky and just take my brush and just glide it on up like that and I am using the Rare Beauty Foundation today. That has kind of been my go-to since it's so hot out here in California. Oh my God. Put a little bit on the nose. All right, y'all, I will be right back. And I'm back. This is what the face is looking like. Excuse my little acne bumps, y'all. Women go through it all the time. Okay, now, I'm gonna go ahead and put some, I'm gonna put probably this purple. No, I'll put this one, which is Stunna under my eye. I just want to do this on camera. If I sound out of breath, it's cause I have to run downstairs. Pretty. And usually I'll put like eyeshadow underneath my eye when I just wanted to pop a little bit more. And so this look is definitely for that. I'm just kind of looking up. Cause sometimes I get it in my eye. <laughs> Okay, now, like I said, I already put my blush on underneath my foundation. You can't really see it that much, but it's okay. But I think for my highlighter, I'm gonna go in with this color and that is Get Lit. And I'm just going to take my little brush. And I didn't like press it, like go like this. I just kind of pressed it in there because there's a lot that comes out. And look how pretty that is. All right, let's do the other side. Yes, and I'm just gonna add a little bit to the nose. And right here. Okay. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and put on our super lustrous gloss and I'm going to set my face right before I put this on and of course I'm using my Morphe continuous setting spray which is the absolute best and let's go ahead and of course that just sets everything in place and I like to get my blender sponge my sponge and just pat everything in to have that nice flawless finish. And I'm just gonna go like this too. But that looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit so you guys can see. All right, this is me pulling it out. And this is what the color looks like. 
and let's go ahead and try it on now i do have a little bit of lip gloss on my lips because i couldn't come on here with my lips ashy you feel me so let's go ahead and look And sometimes I have like makeup on my lips and I'll be over it. Okay. It doesn't give me like a sticky feel. I think what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of brown around my lips. It's like a little tint. And I should have did this before, but it's okay. All right. So this is the final look. This is what this hot girl is looking like. Okay, let me know what you all think. Um, so far, I mean, I like it. I really hope that she comes out with um, some more um, items like a blush and just just anything. I'm, I'm gonna be here for it. I'm going to buy it. I will say that the shadows were very pigmented. And of course you've seen all the nice little shimmery colors and all that stuff. So if she comes out with a matte one, I would definitely wanna try that too. But I'm, I'm here for it. Y'all let me know what you all think of this look. Um, I'll just come in just a little bit closer so you guys can see. But I am digging it. And for those of you all trying to get a purchase, make sure that you guys go to StockX. That is the only place that you will be able to actually buy this hot girl kit. Um, they do not have it on the Revlon website and I will go ahead and link it down below where you guys can buy it. But let me know what you all think and make sure y'all tag Megan to Stallion in this thing, okay? I will see y'all later. Make sure y'all continue to have a hot girl summer.